you for one entertainment for one podcast i'm chilling right now in the six as always you already and you know that listen the most important thing you could do right now while i'm getting my chill and my vibe on get your vibe on like the video but as i always say subscribe to the channel who doesn't love some frankie valley right Listen, Frankie Valley. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Who doesn't love some Frankie Valley? Okay, Frankie Valley was way before my time. I mean, literally, way before my time. Frankie Valley, if you don't know, was an extremely very popular singer in the 1960s. Okay, just to lay the foundation and the groundwork here where this vid is going. Uh, Frankie Valley uh, is an American singer, better known as the front man. He's known as being the front man of the Four Seasons, Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons. And, and this was in the beginning of the 1960s. And he, Frankie is known for his uh, powerful lead falsetto voice. And Frankie has had some very big hits uh, throughout his career. Some of them are Walk Like a Man. I think we've all heard that song. That was one of my joints from back in the day. Um, I Can't Take My Eyes Off of You, Ragdoll, Sherry, which was an extremely, extremely popular song. Frankie hit that high falsetto voice singing Sherry. Frankie Valley is 90 years old, okay? which is to be celebrated because I would love to creep to 90 years old and be still viable and healthy like it seems like Frankie Valley is. But one of the things here that I continuously have talked about on this channel, and if you didn't and haven't seen my previous videos, please check them out, uh, as well as subscribing to the channel if you're new here as well. I talk about artists who are older, whether they be R&B artists, soul singers, hip hop artists, rock artists, who just stay at the party too long and just don't want to give it up. And here, yet again, we have a victim. We have another victim. And his name is the legendary Frankie Valley. Give it up for Frankie Valley. Come on, give it up for Frankie Valley. Tip of the hat to Frankie Valley. Frankie Valley is pretty much going on stage at 90 and just standing there holding the microphone like this with a backing track in the background while the record is playing. His, his lips and mouth are barely moving. He's just standing on stage like this while the track plays in the background and his backup singers are moving and dancing around him. Check your bit out. Why don't you come A lot of people come at me in the comments section and say that I'm bashing the legends and I have no respect. And how dare you talk about people at an older age that just want to go out here and, and still do what they love. I get it. But when does it come a point to where your legacy, and I say this all the time, your legacy is being tarnished and tainted because of the fact that you have to go out here and provide for yourself and make a living and you still have to earn some kind of income because you're not getting those checks, you know, those royalty checks in like you used to. You're publishing and everything is signed off to a third party and you're just not financially able to support yourself so you have to go out here and you have to sit in cheers on stage and be escorted out in a wheelchair and it's just it's just sad man it's just sad and yes to answer your question i do have compassion for these artists that i previously have talked about i'm looking out for you i'm looking out for the people that are may are basically not really social media and very internet savvy and aware of what's going on out here so when you see these posters or you hear these announcements about your favorite artists coming to town and you think that you're going to see a performance of them just like how they were 30 years ago, it's not going to be like that. You're going to see them standing on stage like Mr. Valley here, looking like a figure, a wax figure. OK, let's just call it for what it is, a, a, a mannequin, a weekend at Bernie's dead man. 
just being propped up on stage and just singing to a CD, a backing track or MP3 or a, a streaming service plugged into the audio speakers of this venue. Let me know in the comment section what you think. I love my elder statesmen and my elder songstresses when it comes to this music. I just don't wanna see the people get cheated out of money because these ticket prices are damn expensive. And why waste your time, two an hour, three hours of your time going to these shows when you could do something totally different and more productive with your time than going to see someone lip sing on stage for an hour. Thank you for watching the Evil One Podcast. Subscribe. And until the next time, as always, you know I love you. You know I do. I'll check y'all later. Peace.